Hey guys, just wanted to see how this does here. I'm pretty red. <clears throat> I don't know if I like that, but that's what happens when you go out fishing, so. Um, there's the puppy, there's the ant, and it looks pretty good. So, we'll see how you guys like it. Let me know what you like, what you say, what you think in the comments below. Um, it's going to be a short little video here because uh, I don't have very much battery on this thing. So, I will come back here in just a minute. Um, again, um, thank you for coming back and welcome to another episode of Patriot Living. Um, just got this camera. We'll see how this does. I like it so far, but we'll see. Uh, talk to you here in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm trying to see how this is going to work. Um, looks like I'm pretty good in focus. Um, so anyway, back to what I was kind of saying. Um, got a few new got a few new things here got myself one of these things that are that's like you know flexible as hell and I love it <laughs> um, got a new camera so this should actually be a little bit better of you know a little better quality you can see the puppy she's doing much better too if you guys haven't been following along just had her fixed and she's she's um doing a lot better um trying to clean up some of these little spots that she's left all over the house too so that you know when i do move it's not you know horrible um also day six of not, not smoking um it's hard to quit the nicotine but you know i'll i'll, I'll try and get it done it's just like I said, you know, it's hard because, you know, I've smoked for so many years that, you know, kind of sticks with you. So, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the screen up here, just making sure that, you know, I'm not looking like a, sh like, like a schmuck or something here. But, let me know what you guys think. Um, I like the clarity better. Um, I'm always in focus. You know, so that's a good thing. Um... The, the picture quality, I mean, the lighting is pretty good too. I mean, it could be the fact that I moved things around and now it's all, you know, it's all in, in focus or in the, the, the light's actually hitting me instead of being behind it. Um, we are going to go ahead and make dinner. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and record me cooking dinner because it's going to be the same thing that I made before. Maybe I will just because, you know, got to play with the new camera, right? So... Um, I might go ahead and sell my other camera. I don't know. We'll have to see who, um, you know, if, if, so if anybody else needs the camera in the household. So, um, but I, al I also need to go ahead and see about, you know, these, these shirts that I've ordered and see when, when and if they're going to be done, or when they're going to be done. Um, mom's going to be here. She, uh, you know, we, you know, she needs to eat too. Um. She's trying to keep it kind of low key. Well, focus, focus, focus on me. There you go. So, again, you know that's that's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to deal with here in just a little bit. Uh, but um, you know, mom's gotta eat, and mom's always fed me. So let's feed this lady. Um, but we'll get some some shots of everybody that 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 came over tonight because you know like I said gotta take care of the family and who better do it um yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and and um try and do some some camera work here I might have uh, my aunt go ahead and run the camera so that it's you know it's a little more involving it's following me around and you know so she could figure out what she wants with the camera too because you know when you go camera shopping it's fun to it's 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 fun to try and see what exactly you want 
Um, I wanted the GX7 Mark II, but they are completely out of stock. Apparently that's a really good camera. <laughs> so anyway guys, I will talk to you here in just a few moments. I'm gonna stop here and uh, get ready to go ahead and cook. See you in a minute. Recording. Okay guys, so cooking on a COVID budget tonight because I didn't go out and fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, Start cutting up the, cutting off the little, the little sheaths of, of, of like you know plastic and stuff, you know like the, the stuff for the, to make it a sausage. Um, we, we cut that off, put it in the, in the, in the pan, and then go ahead and just fry it up. Um, we've already started the water, because that, that takes forever to do. We're gonna make them with the bow ties, and we're gonna get this rocking. So. That being said, uh, we'll go ahead and, I guess we're going to go ahead and cut this off. Cut it down the middle there. And as you can see, there's a little sheathing, right? So we're taking that off to go ahead and, you know, make, make, the, make it a little more pliable. I can pull it apart and, you know, all that stuff. Don't be dirty. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got 10 of these to do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all of them and do that. Make sure you actually cut them, because sometimes they, they don't cut. So, and I have washed my hands already, guys. I have washed my hands. We don't have coronavirus in this house. We stay pretty secluded from everybody. Uh, sometimes that's by choice and sometimes it's not, so. If I can grab the, the skin, quit being dirty. Also, guys, day six, no smoking. I think I may have told you that before, but want to make it known that you know I haven't smoked in six days and for me that's a pretty big accomplishment because I've been smoking for like 20 some odd years maybe maybe almost 30 now but so we got five done this process is pretty quick when I'm just kind of moving at it and I don't have anybody else in the kitchen you know kind of like you know, in my way, or, you know, I kind of feel my dad as to why, you know, how he used to be like, get the hell out of my kitchen. If you guys have any other, um, any other recipes or anything else you might want to see me cook, um, definitely put it back, put it, put that down in, in the, in the, um, in the comment section. You know, I mean, I think this is like the third or fourth time I've cooked this, and I don't want to be repetitive. But that is kind of, you know, <clears throat> cooking on the COVID budget because you know you, you know, you get what you can afford. I mean, I can afford, I can afford some stuff, but just, you know, I don't want to go through all the money and then be screwed at the end of the year because. You know, there's no more unemployment or, you know, because I haven't been called back to work. So kind of watching pennies, kind of sitting on stuff right now. Last one. Now, if you come and take a look at this real quick, there's all the meat in the in the pan. That's about I want to say like two like two pounds of uh, two pounds of sausage here. Um, we will go ahead and season it with with the with the garlic salt. Not not sponsored. Um, we're gonna go ahead and season that. 
I am going to put a lot of it in there because there is a lot of meat here. We'll go ahead and trim this up. We're going to go ahead and put this to about 300 just to go ahead and you know get it to start cooking rather quickly. Um, after this has been cooked for the majority of the way, I'll go ahead and add the sauce and let it simmer. Um, we are still waiting on the water to go ahead and boil. That's almost ready to go. So this is what takes forever is, is, is the, um, the noodles. Uh, making it with the bow tie once again. We'll go ahead and open these and get these ready. I get my spatula ready for the for the meat too. But yeah, that's that's where we are now. Um, I'll go ahead and come cut back to you guys here in just a little bit because I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauce and I want you to guys I want you guys to see what how I make that sauce happen. Um, as you can hear, you can probably hear it is starting to sizzle. So I'll go ahead and start cutting this up a little bit, mixing in the Mixing in, in all the, um, the garlic salt that I just put in it. Let that cook a bit. And we're gonna kind of leave these these uh, these pieces kind of big. We are, we are we are also still not going to go ahead and um, drain the meat because that's where all your flavor is. I think I said that a couple different times, but still, you know, it's worth repeating because there's a lot of people that that will that will drain the meat and wonder why it doesn't taste as good. And that's because, like I said, you know, all your all your your fat from the meat is where all of your all of your flavor is. So we'll let this kind of cook for a little, a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and grab the. Uh, Grab the lid here, kind of like your shield. Oh yeah. <laughs> it kind of is your shield because I mean, it, you know, when you go ahead and, and start mixing stuff together, kind of hold it like this and you know, kind of mix it so that it doesn't get in your face and you know, in case you sneeze, you can wash it off and it doesn't get in your food. So. We'll go ahead and add the bow ties in. And for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same thing that I that I went ahead and uh, was stirring the meat with because it's all gonna go together anyway. So there's the bow ties, they're, they're gonna get done here just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of this into the water too. So I like garlic. All right, so well, also what we need to go ahead and start doing here, wherever, that, wherever they went. Garlic bread. Now we did we did kind of cheat. We didn't we we're gonna we bought the store bought stuff because. I don't want to slave all day to go ahead and get this done, so what it says here, where is it? okay, so we're going to preheat the oven to 400, remove from the bag and place the frozen bread halves, cut side up on an ungreased baking sheet. We got two of these, okay, so we got two of these. Um, And place baking sheet in the middle of the oven rack. La 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 la. Do not microwave. So we are not cutting corners. 
So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and light this up, put it up to, to 400. That's, that's the zoom. Oh, okay. Um, set it up to 400 and hit start. That's, that's preheating. So got the noodles going, got the meat going, which I need to stir here in just a minute. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break these out and put these on, on these on these cookie sheets or these baking sheets and put them in the oven and we're gonna have a freaking feast. So, like I said here just a little bit, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the meat um, and start the sauce. As soon as I go ahead and put the sauce in it, I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys come back. So, we'll talk to you here in just a minute. Love you guys. See you in a little bit. So, this sauce is, or this meat is pretty much ready to be, be sauced up. It takes about 10 15 minutes for it to be, be ready to go. We're going to go ahead and use the Bertoli. If I can open it, because the hands are greasy. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and drop it in. And we want to get all the, as much of the, the sauce as we can out of the jar. Sorry. It's good. Throw some water in there. Dump it in. Because all that all that water is going to pretty much boil out after as we as it's cooking. So then we have all that grease in there too. So mm, grease. It's going to be a pretty. <laughs> It's going to be a pretty meaty sauce. Alright, so that's all stirred in. Now I'm, I'm also going to go ahead and reduce the heat a little bit. And there's the sauce. Go ahead and just See the sauce is already starting to boil, starting to simmer. So we'll go ahead and put the top on that. I did reduce it down to 250 degrees. Um, we're still waiting on this thing to preheat, so you see how long that, how quick that was. So as this is, as this is going to go ahead and and, and um, simmer, these bow ties are going to be almost done, and then the the the, the bread which we have two pans here. <laughs> it's a lot of bread. But um, the two pans here should be done as soon as this is done. So let's see how timing goes. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. But that's where we are with, with dinner at the moment. Um, I'll go ahead and when I pull out the bread, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. And when I go ahead and combine everything. So we'll talk to you here in just a few seconds. Love you guys. Hope you enjoy this. Okay, guys. So this this finally got preheated to 400. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take both of these, both of them, and put them on put them on the top rack. Okay. That, now this is kind of close to the top rack, so we're gonna have to watch it. And it says to. Uh, come on For nine to ten minutes, so we'll put it in there for ten, but we'll keep an eye on it so timer Start I think we're ready to go ahead and uh, drain the noodles and combine now Now my little trick, because I don't want to bust the, the I don't want to bust the um, the pipes in the sink because it's hot water. I'm gonna go ahead and take the colander and the bowl, put it in the put it in the sink so I can go ahead and just dump it. So we'll go ahead and take this, dump it in here. Her leash should be in the in the where the Snoopies are. All 
Alright, now before I go ahead and put these back in, I'm gonna take my sauce and put it in the in the in the pot. So the sauce is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this all the way down. Now we'll go ahead and do this and just kind of drop it in there. That's another reason why I don't drain my meat. It's because like everything is in, in there now. You know, you don't have to go through and scrape it and, and try and get it all in there because it's already there and because there's grease there. So there's a few different reasons why I don't do it, but I like I like my I like my grease. Alright, so we'll go ahead and combine and put this in here. Thank God I got the bigger pot out. <laughs> All right, what I do is I'll go ahead and grab the um, the, the pasta spoon, the spot, the pasta ladle is what I call it. I don't know what the exact term is. If you guys know it, put it in the comments. And I stand corrected, but we'll go ahead and just, you know, from the bottom up, have it all mixed. We'll go ahead and let this stuff stand because we still have about eight minutes left on the on the bread. Oh, I lost some. Sorry. There it is, all, all nice and mixed up. Now, once this is done, I'll go ahead and cut back into you guys. So go ahead, you guys go ahead and see the finished product. You know, with having it all plated and everything else to go ahead and, and finally, finally eat. Because. <laughs> This smells amazing, and now my my stomach is like you know like closing in on itself. Going, so uh, hope you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'll I'll hit you back up in just a minute, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, look at that. I'm gonna cut these up and get these things rolling into the plating of the food. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, check a look at that. This is about to go down right now. But, so, hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode of uh, Cooking on a COVID Budget. Um, had a great camera, uh, had a great, great camera person. And my mom's here too, so we're going, we're going to eat, we're going to throw down on this thing. And, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. I guess what? I'm glad we bought one.